Hey, what's going on guys? Ryan TSG back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make great content on YouTube with Windows Movie Maker. Now there's a download link in the description. All you have to do is click get it now and make sure your system requirements can handle this editor. But yeah, all you want to do is just click choose the programs you want to install instead of this one and then just uncheck all of these and then just install these and I've already installed them so I don't need to you need to but it won't pop up on your desktop when you're done um, downloading it so all you have to do is just go to your search bar like right here and click movie maker you know put it on your keyboard search movie maker and yeah that's pretty much it if we drop 70 if we oh, I can't speak today if we drop 75 likes on this video, I will show you guys how you can edit on PS4, iOS or Android, and an advanced editing tutorial on the computer. Now let's get started. So I'm going to add a photo or video. You just click add photos and videos. And I'm going to use this clip. Now when you first put a clip into Windows Movie Maker, it's going to put Windows Movie Maker is preparing your files. Now that'll take a while, so please be patient, but I've already rendered it, so I'm ready to go. Now let's get started. I can't do these, add music, web webcam video, record narration, but they're pretty straightforward. I can, you know, help you guys with it in the comment section, but it's pretty straightforward. I think you'll figure it out. Snapshot I cannot also do, but it's pretty much just taking a screenshot of your computer and then saving it, and then you can put it in the video. That's pretty much how it is with the webcam, the record, narration, and the music. Cut, copy, paste is pretty straightforward. Now let's get to title. Title is basically like at the beginning of your YouTube video, you just put a title. Okay, uh, next, we're gonna go and put a caption. Now, pretty much it's just something at the bottom of your screen and you just type it in. I can't see what I'm typing, but I'll show you how to fix that later. The next one is the credits. It basically adds this at the end of your video and you can put, you can get this scrolling, wow, oh, I'm sorry, PlayStation. You can get this scrolling effect at the end of your video, just watch. Look. Yeah, pretty much it. You can change the duration, but we'll get into that later. These you have to experiment around with yourself. They're pretty cool, I encourage you to check them out. Rotate left and rotate right, it's pretty straightforward. If you click left, it'll rotate left. If you click right, it'll rotate right. The next is remove, pretty much simple. You can already just right click and hit remove otherwise. Next is these animations. You can try them out yourselves. I'm not gonna go through all of them. Same with these zoom in pans, but I recommend that you try them out and you can always change the duration right there and you can apply it to all the clips in your video right there. Visual effects, again, experiment around with these, but you can change the brightness and apply to all, which is just great. Yeah, pretty much all I have to say about that. Project, you can put emphasis here and you can change the aspect ratio, uh, put no emphasis and change your audio mix. This is just messing around with the zoom. So video tools, it's gonna be the same as music tools, narration tools. The only difference is that if you're a vlogger, you can change the anti-shake right here. If you hit set start and set end, it'll trim the video automatically for you. If you hit split, it'll split the clip in half where you hit split, and all you have to do is just remove the part that you don't want. The trim tool uses the bar to um, split this time. Speed. Pretty much just change the speed of the video. Look at that slowness right there. Yeah. Background color you can change if you're having your, if you have your, if you have your text selected, you can change the background color. Fade in, fade out, pretty straightforward. Video volume, pretty straightforward once again. And that's pretty much it. Um, text tools you can always change like the font, you know, how it moves around, you know, the bold, the italics, it's it's pretty cool. So this editor, when you're finished with your movie, you hit save movie, and if you're a YouTuber, or you wanna put it on your iPad or something, experiment around with these, I recommend it. 
so that you can have your video perfectly the way you want it. But if you want to just upload it straight to YouTube, you just have to sign in through YouTube right there. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions in the comment section, please let me know. The Q&A is still going on, so if you have any questions about the editor and me, leave them down below in the comment section. And thank you all so much for watching. Please drop a like on this video. If we get 75 likes, I'll do another one of these. Subscribe if you're new, share this with your friends, spread the word about my channel, give me feedback, uh, questions for the Q&A, and questions about the editor in the comment section. Peace.